before we get into the news, make sure to subscribe to my first and second channels and hit the notification bell to stay notified of future uploads. And follow my Instagram to get notified more frequently of MMA news before it is posted on my YouTube channel, and feel free to follow my Facebook and Twitter as well. I think the biggest thing is that I wasn't patient, you know, um, we had 25 minutes to get it done and, and I was comfortable on the outside and uh, I should have stayed there a little bit longer and um, waited for her to give me um, the takedown and instead I, I reached for it and then we ended up in the, the clinch up against the cage um, more often than I would have liked and uh, that's that was the, um, I think that was the determining factor in, in, in the fight. For sure. I didn't notice that her foot was hurt, but I knew that I was checking her kicks with my knee and it wasn't going to be too pleasant for her. <laughs> she just said she knew it wasn't the outcome that I wanted, but it was. Um. She just said that it was a lot closer than, you know, what I probably feel like it is, you know, just in my heart. And that um, I'm still improving and it's still a step forward. I know that you know, obviously every soul thing but the crowd was really supportive after the for you and everything you say, they were just very supportive. Can you talk about what that means? I don't think anybody um, steps into the octagon with the idea of losing, but just the fact that um, the crowd was still um, cheering and behind me, it, it, it does, it fills my heart, and uh, it lets me know that I'm on the right track. <laughs> that's fight game, that's life. Can't win them all. We were just both really sweaty, and um, you know, <laughs> it's uh, it's hard to sink those in when you're really sweaty and you got the gloves on, and and we both want it, and uh, it was just it was a uh, was a fight. <laughs> No, this was, this was what I was focused on, you know, um, and this is what I needed. You know, I just, I feel like everything happens for a reason and I needed this fight in order to um, understand uh, how to move forward. Absolutely. It is, you know, um, the feeling of victory is addicting. And the highs are super high, and I always say this, the lows are really low, and I think the hardest part is um, letting down all my coaches and, and uh, fans um, because of all the time that they put into me, you know. Uh, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm super happy. Uh, tough fight, but dominant performance. And this is what I always say. You can have a plant in the first punch. And uh, I took the fight second by second. And uh, I'm happy. 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 I'm just happy. Just happy. I think, I think I broke it at the end of the second round or the third round. And uh, fifth round, I was like, okay, I shouldn't kick with this 
food, I felt pain, but then I was like, just fuck it. <laughs> what works can happen? Like, we're gonna break it in three pieces, they're gonna put it together. That's it, you know, and uh, that's a tough business, you know, and honestly, I don't like myself uh, from the octagon being injured uh, with the crutches, but it's my job. Big, big hobby, big, big passion, crazy passion, crazy job, but this is how we make money, baby, and uh, I love it. And I don't know, I will go to the hospital tomorrow morning and now I want to rest, spend some time with my family, uh, with the people who came to watch my fight. I'm very, uh, I want to say thank you to the fans. They fill out the arena and that's amazing, you know, and uh, so many uh, Polish flags, uh, t-shirts, uh, it was amazing, you know. It, I felt like home, uh, it was an honor to headline the show. Uh, um, let's do this one more time. Really? That's cool. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a comment below of what you thought of the video and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified for more.